A recent study shows someone falls victim to identity fraud every two seconds. And many times, these thieves are now getting your credit card number right out of your wallet. Anna Werner reports. If you think you protect your credit card information, you should talk to New York City's Cassandra Tang, who found that the card that was still in her wallet had somehow been used to take out $200 at an ATM across town she'd never been to. We use our debit cards or credit cards or whatever every day. It's scary to know that my card can be compromised. Her credit card company told us she probably fell victim to card skimming where thieves got her information, then made a duplicate card complete with new PIN number. Fraud expert Scott Schober says that is now common. Thieves can simply swipe using a small card reader and go. I will simply take this and swipe it. Now I just stole the information on your card. Once it's stolen, Schober showed us where your personal information can wind up on the dark net, the underbelly of the internet. But as you scroll down, you could start to see there's their phone number, their full address. Full credit card number. Credit card number. What's the, the issuing pin, bank? ATM pin number. Yep. There is something credit card companies are moving to. The newer card technology called chip and pin. A more secure chip in the card combined with the use of a pin number. Many European countries put that in place years ago to combat fraud, but the U.S. is years behind. It's not just a little bit behind, it's embarrassingly behind. Anna Werner, CBS News, New York. Credit card companies are moving to chip cards this year, but most retailers still have to buy the machines to make them work.